I'm sure we've all been there before. You upload some video gameplay footage to YouTube and within 10 minutes, your, uh, your gameplay has a copyright strike. They tell you that your video could no longer be monetized, at least uh, not by you anyway. Any money that it does make will be paid to the owners of the original uh, the, um, the copyright, the, the footage. Usually you accept this. Now sometimes you might dig a little bit further into the claim on YouTube through the YouTube studio and you'll see somebody you don't expect that owns the music. It may be a name you don't recognize. A lot of times it's some sort of music house. You know, they probably have the rights. But other times it's it's trolls and scammers. And this is something that a lot of people are completely oblivious to. At any rate, uh, Koji Kondo, I may be butchering his name right now. He is the uh, original composer of all Zelda music for the original Nintendo Entertainment System. Both games. He made all that music on his own, all by himself. He didn't have any help. Um, does he own it, though? Apparently, not even close. Who owns it? Well, I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, for the past few years, every time I upload a Zelda 2 video, you know Zelda 2, the most hated Zelda game in the franchise, every time I upload footage of this game, I get a copyright strike. Now, um, I want you to meet the owner of some amazing Zelda 2 music. This guy, this fucking guy, excuse my language, I just, I'm upset. He's owned the copyright for years on the palace theme in Zelda 2. Now, I'm pretty sure he didn't actually compose or make any of this music. Um, we know who did it. It was Koji Kondo. But this, this fucking guy, he owns it nonetheless. And he's owned it for years. Go ahead and upload some gameplay footage from Zelda 2. More specifically, a game that has the or a, a gameplay that has the palace theme in it. The, the palace theme, you know, the catchy theme that plays in all of the uh, like the dungeons in Zelda 2. I guarantee you'll get a copyright strike stating it can't be monetized, and that you know future monies go to the copyright holder. This guy is the copyright holder. The owner of the song is Mikkel Michael. Bengenstun. The song is titled Viska Festa Och Danza Medig. Now, uh, I wanted to understand a lot of this YouTube business a little better, so I searched his name and I searched the song title. Uh, the top four results in Google, um, they host a handful of music files on Spotify and Amazon and uh, Pandora and a few other music services. Uh, more importantly, this one specific song titled Viska Festa Och Danza Medig. All it is is this, this fucking guy mumbling behind Zelda music. Now, um, I don't want to downplay his intelligence at all. I don't think he's a moron. And because of that, I'm not going to talk down on him. This guy's clearly smart enough to upload all of those stupid songs to music services like Spotify and Amazon Music. And uh, in my opinion, he's not doing this because he's a musician. He's banking on these music delivery systems to work with YouTube and other content providers, and they label this music as his, and they pay him royalties for it on YouTube. I mean, it's actually genius. I don't know what you would call this, like maybe a patent troll or something, but he's definitely making money on this. Now, I've disputed his copyright uh, content claim three times in the past two years. Whenever I upload a Zelda 2 video, they keep on reassigning the music to him over and over again. Now, I've been successfully able to dispute and have them remove the claim, but YouTube does not remove him as the owner. Two months from now, if I upload another video, they reassign him as the, uh, the, the owner of the music. This guy is getting royalties left and right whenever somebody uploads a Zelda 2 video. How do I know he gets paid? Because his video is monetized. And I know for a fact the money isn't going to Nintendo because he is literally the copyright holder in YouTube's eyes, and he has been for two years. And they make it a point of telling me this every time I upload a goddamn video 
with the palace theme in it. And this guy has got to be loaded. If not, he's making good money. So you know what? I'm not even mad. Just sit back and listen to that amazing man go. Probably one of the great songbirds of our generation. And we're just all, we're sleeping on this freaking guy. Now, I don't care if this guy robs Nintendo blind. Honestly, they're a terrible company. When it comes to YouTube, they are horrendous. Um, rotten people. So, in a, in a way, I tip my head off to this guy because he's, he's pulling money out of Nintendo's pockets. Good for him. But, um... It bothers me every time I get a strike. Any suggestions at all would be greatly appreciated. Thank you.